I wanted to follow up with uh, a noisy fuel pump on the Volvo motors. Um, we talked about the uh, the anti siphon valve and and uh, um, fuel filter and restrictions on the suction side. I actually had one this summer that uh, had the um, the black paint problem uh, that's well documented. Um, basically, uh, to give you a refresher on that, the black paint in the pump um, peels off and and blocks up the passageways in the pump. One of the things it does is uh, it gets into your, your fuel supply lines here uh, and it will block up your fuel pressure regulator. So this is a, a, a return style fuel pressure regulator. The, the fuel comes from your fuel pump um, and then this regulator lowers the pressure down to the correct pressure for your fuel injectors. Uh, inside this regulator is a, a, a little screen and that screen gets blocked up with the black paint or any other uh, uh, dirt from uh, within the uh, in the fuel system and what that does is it doesn't allow the regulator to uh, return enough fuel back to your the fuel pump assembly um, so the fuel pressure gradually rises and that overloads your fuel pump also causing a whine. So I wanted to show you, it's actually really simple and quick to, uh, to fix it, uh, uh, to inspect it. Um, so I just wanted to pull this one apart. This, this motor does not have a fuel pump whine. Uh, this motor runs just fine. I haven't checked fuel pressure on it. Um, it's just here for service, but I just wanted to take advantage of it while it was here. And it doesn't hurt to, uh, to, to have a look anyway, and that'll tell me what's going on with this fuel pump, because it is his original pump in here. So, um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure your battery switches off, um, disconnect your battery even, because you're going to spill a little bit of fuel, um, and you don't want any stray sparks coming around. So. Um, the first thing here, once that's done, is to uh, bleed your fuel system. Now there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, they recommend take your fuel pump relay out and run the engine till it dies and things like that. Uh, this little Schrader valve here, this is where we check our high pressure fuel pressure. Uh, it's just like a tire valve with a little, uh, a little button in there. When we push that button, you can have if your regulator is blocked, you can have up to 100 PSI of, of pressure in there. I've seen 100 PSI in there. So the fuel will come out of there pretty hard, um, but not a great amount of it um, because it's a hydraulic system. So uh, I just put a rag over the top of it and uh, a, a little screwdriver. Um, and uh, that, that just bleeds the fuel pressure out. Now I haven't run this motor for uh, a couple of weeks since I hauled it out, so uh, the pressure's bled off. There's no pressure in there, so that's good. Now, this is a vacuum hose. Uh, the fuel pressure is uh, adjusted according to the load on the engine, which is monitored by vacuum manifold vacuum. So the, this is your fuel pressure regulator here. Um, and it's held in with this simple clip right here. Very simple. Again, you're going to, so when we take this out, the fuel rails are going to empty. So we're going to get a lot of gas out of this side. So we'll put a few rags down there to catch all that. And this clip here, I, can you see what I'm doing here? Let me just zoom in and I'll show you there. Yeah, so there's our regulator. And then this clip right here on top is the one that I'm pulling out. And can you see what I'm doing there? You can. So we just pull that. That just comes straight up. It's just a little clip just like that. And yeah, you can still see what I'm doing there. Let's just uh, center that a bit better. Now it's sealed with O-rings in there, so it might take a, a little bit of gentle persuasion. You can see I'm just using the screwdriver on there just to just to get it moving a bit, um, but it doesn't take much. 
now you can see the fuel running out of there. Now, that's okay. And now here is our screen. And you can see this one's actually got a fair bit of uh, contamination on it. Lots of black on there. Um, well, so the fuel comes in, uh, which way does it go? I can't remember. Uh, this screen being blocked up, the fuel goes through this screen to return back to your fuel pump. So now that we've got all this uh, build up, what I'm seeing there is just uh, real fine, um, not sure, whoops, trying to find the camera there. There we go. Uh, real fine um, contamination. I'm not seeing black paint in there. Um, I'm just seeing uh, little bits of stuff. So I'm gonna jump out, blow that off with the air hose, uh, and then I'm gonna put it back together. Um, I, I believe there was a, a, a Volvo service bulletin. Uh, where's, how do I get out of here? There we go. Um, that says to, uh, to remove the screen. Um, I tried to take the last one off and it did not want to come off very easily. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna blow this off with a little bit of air and uh, put it back together. Um, so the one, uh, the last one that I saw that had close to 100 PSI of uh, fuel pressure, it, uh, it was blocked up about twice as much as this. So this was probably affecting the fuel pressure a bit, particularly at idle, when it's not using a lot of fuel, but the pump is still pumping a lot of fuel. Um, so that's, uh, we're gonna clean that off and we'll put that back together for them. And uh, uh, that'll, this gives me a good indicator of what's happening um, with the rest of his fuel system. His fuel pump's fine because there's no black paint in there. So um, we'll just call this maintenance. I'll blow this off and I'll be right back. Where are we there? Okay, so uh, I've just blown that out. Let's just zoom in and I'll see if I can get it in the camera shot here for you. There it is. Um, and you can see that the screen in there is a whole lot cleaner now. Um, that's gonna help it uh, whoops, when, we, uh, when we put it back together. Uh, I've put a little bit of grease on the two O-rings there. I've inspected them and made sure that they're in good condition. I've never, uh, I, I've only pulled a few of these regulators out. I mean, it's not like I've pulled hundreds of them, but um, I've never seen one damaged. So you should be able to take it apart and uh, put it back together with the original O-rings. Um, and uh, otherwise it just slides right back in there. Real simple, put your clip back in. Just like that, vacuum hose back on. And that's all there is to it. Um, I've already reconnected the battery. Um, I did that while I was cleaning the, uh, the filter out there. So uh, I'm just gonna cycle the pump and uh, inspect for leaks and make sure there's no leaks um, and we'll be good. So basically just to summarize, um, if the return screen in your regulator is restricted uh, for whatever reason, whether it's just fine dust like uh, this one was, or whether it's the black paint from the pump, uh, that can cause a, a fuel pump wind from these uh, Volvo Penta motors. Um, this one here just had some fine dust in it. This motor was not whining yet, um, but if I'd left it a couple more years with that sort of buildup, uh, it probably would start. So uh, preventative maintenance, just uh, clean that filter out and uh, uh, that'll help your, uh, your Volvo Penta fuel pump last a whole lot longer without any noise. Thanks for joining me.